So this is one muscle cell, and this model is going to represent uh, many of the structures that you're responsible for. And the first one is the covering over one muscle cell. Now because it's one muscle cell, it's not going to cover a fascicle, which would be perimysium. It's not going to cover an entire muscle. That would be epimysium. This is going to be endomysium. They try to represent the connective tissue with all this collagen fiber. So this kind of roughened covering would be endomysium. Now the endomysium covers over this portion of the cell, which would be the cytal cell membrane. But for us, because it's skeletal muscle, we say it's the sarcolemma. So this is the sarcolemma. If this is endomysium, this is sarcolemma. All this very, very smooth stuff. You can see some nuclei, and then these individual rods would then be considered myofibrils. Okay? So myofibrils, all actin, myosin, all these little individual ones. You can see the sarcomere making all these individual sections uh, as it continues on. But the other thing that you need to know is that in between the myofibrils there's going to be cytoplasm. But we can't call it cytoplasm because it's a muscle cell. We call it sarcoplasm, right? The other thing that's significant on this model would be this area right here. This is the neuromuscular junction. If you can see, this is the nerve itself covered over by Schwann cells and then ending at synaptic terminals. These little big buds here are synaptic terminals and what they do is they take away one of the synaptic terminals and essentially make one little area of the sarcolemma as you can see, the area of that sarcolemma is ridged. It has a lot of invaginations. This is what we call the motor end plate. And then in between the motor end plate and the synaptic terminal is the space of the synaptic cleft. So what is involved in this, let's just review what structures we can see. If we started here, this is endomy endomysium, sarcolemma, myofibrils, all these rods, sarcoplasm, nuclei, the neuromuscular junction, which is the whole thing. This is the motor neuron. Ends at these balls, which are called the synaptic terminals. This portion of the sarcolemma is called the motor end plate, and the space between is called the synaptic cleft.